Welcome to another UGCS machine shop video. In this video, we will learn how to make the gyroscope spindle. Your TA will provide you with a cut rod. Surface both sides on the lathe. Once both sides are surfaced, measure the overall length with calipers. Place the rod back in the lathe and find zero. Cut down the rod to the appropriate length and set your Z to zero. Next, the top of the rod needs to be cut down to a point. This will need to be done in two steps. First, turn down the rod to 0.157. Trim down a small amount and set the X to zero. Measure the cut diameter of the rod. Now turn down the rod to the correct size. Second, taper the end to a point. Set up the tool for chamfering. Don't forget to set the machine to reverse or to turn away from you. Cut down the corner with multiple passes on the compound slide. Don't forget to repeat the process on the other side. Install the specialty 0 0.07 inch round radius tool. Zero by touching the part. When you see flakes, set the X to zero. Cut the recess to depth specified by the parts diagram and move over to the needed 100 thousandth. Next, place the part in the mill using a call up block. Make sure the part is only sticking out enough to reach desired hole for stability. Zero the Y axis using an edge finder. Make sure the edge finder is low enough to hit the spindle's full surface. Touch the center drill to the tip of the spindle to zero the X axis. Start the hole using the smallest center drill. Drill all the way through with a 5 64th inch drill bit in a keyless chuck. Note, do not apply too much pressure, the bit is very fragile. Also, use peck drilling to clear the chips. Acquire two 1032 bolts. On one end of the bolt, cut to a point at a 25 degree chamfering angle, making multiple passes. On the other end, use the countersink to cut a bowl at the end. Once again, make multiple passes. Do this for both bolts and you should be done. When you are finished, your part should look like this. Thank you for watching.